Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what infantile spasms are, what causes infantile spasms, how do doctors determine if a patient has infantile spasms, and treatment for infantile spasms. An infantile spasm is a sudden bending forward or arching backward of the body, coupled with a stiffening of the arms or legs. Each spasm lasts a couple seconds and usually occurs in clusters. Infantile spasms typically begin during the first year of life, usually between four to eight months. They usually disappear by age five, though other seizure types may take their place. Infantile spasms are also known as West syndrome. When the onset of spasms occurs in late childhood or after, they are known as epileptic spasms. There are multiple causes of infantile spasms. Possible causes are genetic disorders, metabolic disorders, abnormal brain development, brain injury, and brain infections. Down syndrome and autism are two developmental disorders associated with infantile spasms. Many patients also have evidence of cerebral policy. Some causes of infantile spasms can lead to developmental delays with or without the presence of infantile spasms. The age of onset helps doctors narrow down possible causes. While rare, infantile spasms can begin neonatally or later in childhood. Doctors are able to determine the cause of infantile spasms in about 70% of cases. Doctors may use a variety of tests to confirm a diagnosis of infantile spasms. Common tests performed are an EEG, MRI or CAT scan, urine tests, blood work, lumbar puncture, and genetic testing. Early detection is crucial as infantile spasms can damage the developing brain and lead to intellectual disability. The only treatment goals with infantile spasms is complete control of the seizures as soon as possible. Determining the cause of the seizure is also extremely important. Not only will it help doctors determine the best treatment options, it can also help identify other issues that are jeopardizing the patient's health. When doctors know the cause of infantile spasms, they are said to be symptomatic. If the doctor believes there is another underlying condition but hasn't determined what the condition is, the infantile spasms are said to be cryptogenic. If the child's development was normal prior to the onset of infantile spasms and there is no known cause for them, they are said to be idiopathic. There are a few options for patients with infantile spasms. Adrenal corticotropic hormone and vigabatrin are preferred treatments by neurologists. Anticonvulsants commonly used are somazamide, topriamate, valproic acid, nitrazepam, and levetiracetam. The keto diet, a high-fat, low-carb diet, may be beneficial as well. Intravenous immunoglobin treatments are also effective for infantile spasms. For children who have infantile spasms due to lesions on the brain, surgical removal is an option. To learn more about epileptic infantile spasms, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.